everyone. So in this video, we will continue the previous topic which we are discussing regarding the air compressors. Um, we will go with the various terminologies which are used in the air compressive analysis. So these terminologies will play a very important role in understanding the various aspects that are concerned with the uh, air compressive analysis. Okay, so let us go one by one. This can be could be asked in an examination stating what is a single acting compressor and what is double acting compressor for a couple of marks or four marks like that. Okay, so just we shall have a brief discussion regarding the various terminologies that are being used in the air compressive part. So what is a single acting cylinder? First we shall uh, see that. Okay, if the suction and delivery takes place on the one side of the piston, okay, only the compressor is known as the single acting compressor. So what does it mean actually? So if there is a piston and cylinder arrangement as like this, which I am drawing, trying to draw in like this, okay. Now, so my inlet port is here, okay, the, my inlet port is here and my outlet port is here, okay. So I am taking air in with this particular port. Okay, I am taking air in with this particular port and I am taking air out from this particular port like this, clear? So, uh, this is the piston here like this. So, your intake stroke and your outtake stroke both are on the single side of a piston, correct? So, then this particular arrangement is known as the single acting compressor. Clear? Now we shall see what is a double acting compressor then. Okay, so again I will try to draw uh, some piston and cylinder arrangement like this. Okay, like this something. Okay, which has two arms like this. Okay, and your inlet port is here and your outlet port is here. Okay, so now, so uh, if your air is sucked in, in like this, in this particular port and air is delivered from this particular port. So if you try to analyze the phase of a cylinder, that means your piston movement would be uh, like this, which is oscillating. Okay, now, uh, so what happens, uh, even the delivery also could be in the other side. Okay, even the delivery also could be in the four ports arrangement also. So, so your inlet and outlet are taking place at both the sides of your piston wall. So, in this arrangement what happens, your inlet as well as your outlet are taking place at the both the sides of your piston wall, then it is known as a double acting compressor. Got the difference between single acting and double acting? So that is how what it is written here. If the suction and delivery takes place on the both sides, so in this particular thing what happens, it uh, takes place at the both sides of the piston, then it is known as a double acting compressor. It gives away delivery stroke per revolution, that's what. So if a craft, in this particular uh, arrangement, if there is one rotation, okay, you will be getting two delivery strokes. okay. In this single acting arrangement, if there is a one rotation of the crankshaft, you will be getting a single delivery stroke. For every rotation, sorry, for every revolution, there would be a one delivery stroke. For every revolution, there would be a two delivery stroke in case of a double acting compressor. Okay, next thing. So, this is all about single acting and double acting. Next is uh, the single stage compressor. The compressor, uh, uh, if the compressor of the air from the suction pressure to delivery pressure takes place in a single one cylinder only then it is known as a single stage compressor very simple so your normal compressors would be of single stage where your uh, this is your suction pressure okay ps and this is your delivery pressure pd which is obtained only in the single cylinder itself so you are obtaining all the things in the single cylinder itself like this Okay, then this particular thing is known as a single stage. Now, what is a double stage? Double stage I will try to draw here. So, there would be of two cylinders like this, okay, which I will name it as high pressure and low pressure cylinders. Between those, uh, there will be an intercooler like this. So, your, uh, this is your suction pressure PS, 
which would be raised to a certain intermediate pressure pi okay and uh, the temperature of this would be reduced in an intercooler and again it would be sent to a hp so this becomes your hp and this is lp okay and to a delivery pressure so the transformation from the suction pressure to the delivery pressure is being taken in two different cylinders here correct so that means this is a two stage compressor okay similarly if the suction to delivery takes place in multiple cylinders okay one after the other from here to here here to here here to here and this becomes if you if this becomes your delivery pressure and the transformation from suction pressure to delivery pressure takes place in a multiple cylinders like this then that particular arrangement is known as a multi-stage compressor so hope you are clear with the single this one is a single stage and this one is a two stage and this one is a multi-stage arrangement okay kindly write down the notes very neatly so that uh, you can analyze in the last moment of examinations okay next this is very important the free air delivery if the actual volume of the air delivered at the given pressure is expressed as the suction intake pressure and temperature that means so uh, if the volume see what in order to measure the volume you need to define what is the pressure inside it okay let me clear this concepts for you okay now if there is a pipe okay and you are measuring a flow in it so in order to measure the flow okay you have to define at what pressure you are measuring the flow okay so generally your uh, output flow output flow would be measured in the output pressure only okay at what output pressure that is out discharge pressure uh, you uh, the air is coming in that particular air uh, your thing is measured okay but uh, if the same thing just a minute so hmm, no. okay now if the same thing is measured when it comes uh, the same thing is measured when I take the suction pressure as my reference pressure then this particular volume of air is known as a free air delivered okay this particular concept will be cleared in the further videos do not worry about this okay now displacement of the compressor so what is the displacement of compressor already i have explained regarding the vc and vs correct so vs would be your displacement this is the amount of uh, the volume which is displaced per stroke of a cylinder so per uh, engine cylinder stroke how much volume you have been displaced that is known as a vs it refers to the piston it refers to the piston swept volume okay it refers to the piston for swept volume in the first cylinder so generally if, if it is a multi-stage cylinder you will take the first cylinder as your reference okay and define the what is displacement in that okay and d is the diameter and if l is a stroke then this is how you will measure this uh, this is the common thing which you have learnt in the ic engines chapter also so uh, pi by 4 d square into l this you will be measuring for the single uh, acting thing and for the double acting thing you will be uh, taking as by 2 here okay this is for double acting thing so these were the some of the few uh, terminologies that you must know in order to describe uh, the various analysis of the air compressors okay